Number 8. 1968 S. Lincoln sent bonded with a Costa Rican 5 Centimos blank. Graded as MS-63 read by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the San Francisco Mint struck 1,967 dated 5 Centimos for Costa Rica. The 1967 mintage was 6,020,000 pieces, and the 1968 mintage was 4,840,000 pieces. The stainless steel coins had a diameter of 14.92 mm. San Francisco also struck Lincoln cents during 1968, with the S mint mark appearing for the first time on the denomination since 1955. A 5 centimos blank and a Lincoln cent planchet were fed together between 1968 S cent dies. The 5 centimos blank was fed on top of the cent planchet, relative to the obverse die, with the edges of the two flans aligned at 730. It was sold for $15,000. Number 7. 1974 S. Lincoln cent struck on a Philippine aluminum planchet, the uniface reverse. Graded in mint state 61 by PCGS. It is a mint error, struck on a planchet intended for a 1975 Philippine Cinemo. That issue, has a standard weight of 0.5 grams, a diameter of 15.25 mm, and an alloy of 95% aluminum and 5% magnesium, while the 1974 aluminum cent, per Wikipedia, had a diameter of 19.05 mm and a weight of 0.937 grams. It was apparently fed directly on top of a regular bronze scent planchet, with the obverse of the centimo flan struck by the obverse die, and the reverse of the bronze planchet, not included, struck by the reverse die. It was sold for $19,200. Number 6. 1983 Lincoln scent struck on a copper planchet. Graded in mint state 62 red and brown by PCGS. A transitional alloy mint error reminiscent of the famous 1943 copper scent. Though the zinc plated steel scent was introduced in 1982, a small number of copper scent planchets found their way between 1983 dies. Perhaps the planchet lodged in a crevice of a mint bin and was freed some time later. An orange red and apple green example that has a good strike and minor obverse abrasions. It was sold for $23,500. Number 5. Tone 1969 S Double Die Obverse Cent. Ranked first among the top 100 US modern coins. Graded in mint state 63 brown by PCGS and proven by CAC. The variety is one of the most dramatic double dies in American numismatics, challenging the 1955 DDO Lincoln Cent. It displays strong separation between all the letters and digits on the obverse, perhaps most notably on Liberty and In God We Trust, although the date is nearly as bold. Vibrant shades of blue, cherry red, and green flash when rotated under a lamp, and there are even areas of fire orange color around some of the devices. Overall, the surfaces are a glossy medium brown. Abrasions are noted on each side, including marks at 2.30 in the obverse field and a couple on the Lincoln Memorial, but ultimately these blemishes are trivial. It was sold for $48,000. Number 6. 1914 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in mint state 65 plus red by PCGS. Not only is the 1914 D. Lincoln Cent a well-known key date in the series, it is also significantly scarcer in full red mint state condition than even the much more popular 1909 SVDB. Furthermore, most surviving examples of this Denver issue exhibit moderate signs of dye erosion, particularly on Lincoln's lapel and over the entire reverse. This piece is a typical coin in that regard though the design definition is better than usually seen. It ended up selling for $52,800. Number 3. 1927 Lincoln sent in mint state 68 red. According to NGC, this is another issue that is readily available in fully red gem condition, though the population drops rapidly above the grade of MS-66 RD. While some coins will have less than full strikes, this is not a major issue with the 1927 P cent, and collectors should settle for nothing less than a sharp impression. This elusive specimen was sold for $84,000. Number 4. 1926 Lincoln cent, the benchmark condition rarity according to Heritage Auctions. During the 1940s and 1950s, collectors retrieved numerous 1926 S cents from circulation providing a supply of worn pieces for modern numismatists. 
However, circulated representatives become noticeably more elusive in the AU levels, and mint state examples of this issue are all the more challenging to locate, particularly with original red color. Most mint state examples known are either attractively lustrous but poorly struck or sharply impressed but toned brown. This magnificent specimen is the former Walsh slash Jack Lee coin, with a reputation for being included among the highest ranked registry sets of Lincoln cents. It was sold for $102,000. Number 1. 1944 Zinc Coated Steel Cent. Graded in Mint State 64 by PCGS. The 1943 Bronze Cent is the most famous transitional alloy mint error in numismatics. Its successor, the 1944 Steel Cent, is also well known and undeniably rare. PCGS estimates that only 25 to 30 examples are known. The zinc coated steel alloy was in official use at the Philadelphia Mint during 1944, used to strike two franc pieces for Belgium. KM 133. This may explain why the 1944 steel cent is more collectible than the 1943 bronze cent, which has an estimate of 10 to 15 survivors. But whether a given steel planchet was intended for a 1943 Lincoln cent or a 1944 Belgian 2 franc, it was in the wrong place at the wrong time when struck by 1944 cent dies. The usual explanation is that a few steel cent planchets became lodged in a tote bin trap door, and were freed only when the bin was filled with bronze cent planchets. This MS-64 specimen ended up selling for $180,000. We hope you enjoyed this journey as much as we did. If you haven't tuned to CoinOz yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all things coins. Take care.